Hi. Guess what? I've just placed an order for a plate of samosa. Hmm, I can't wait for it to be served. Imagine me having my samosa in this cozy restaurant. Hmm. But there is more about this restaurant. Hey, relax. I'll tell you more about it. All about it, that is. My name is Solomon. You're welcome to Business Club. inside and meet with Sally Grant, who is the manager of this reputable restaurant. Graham, the manager of this enviable spot, Shop and Cafe. Welcome to the show, Sally. Thank you very much. Perspective now. How has it been running 
the restaurant of this sophistication in our region? Well, there are a lot of challenges. Like for instance, well, we have challenges with the staff, we have challenges with the cooks, and then challenges with the customers. But we just know how to go about it to solve each and everyone's problem. Sometimes the staff are not always active and we try our best. We also try our best to give uh, the real good taste. The restaurant, the food is nice, people come in and one thing we are very known for is our taste of our food. It's more like alakai. You come in, you get whatever you want. You understand? So it's something that you can come in, we make you spaghetti, bolognese, we can make anything, we make fresh food. What we do here is we make fresh food. You see people asking why we are not sampling food because we are like others. Like others. We, we cook fresh. Everything we make is fresh. That's the good thing about Chop and Calf. Chop and Calf. What is the inspiration behind the name? Well, the name came in like after much search of names. I tried and I said, what name could be so catching? Like a name that will be interesting to hear. And let's say friends, they say, where are we going to guys? Or where, where are we going to eat? Then the name Chop. Since everybody eats, I, I just felt like the name Chop is a catchy name. And then the calf is a cafeteria. So it's, that means Chop and Calf in short. So that's how the name Chop and Calf came. Because I know everybody likes eating. And we like to be Chop. So that's why I, I like the name Chop. You know what? On this show, we balance all the sides pretty well. So let's hear it from a cross section of Chop and Calf customers. Chop and Calf has been a restaurant in my mall for the past three years. And uh, the owner of the restaurant happened to be a neighbor and a friend. I, in person, have been patronizing her for the past three years. I make sure I have my lunch in Chop and Calf every day I'm at work. Chop and Calf uh, is a cafeteria where you can have pizza and every other kind of meal. <clears throat> they have African <clears throat> and then they also have <clears throat> stuff like um, shawarma and a pizza. I would really love everyone listening to this to try Chop and Cup. Talking about her place where she does her cooking, her cafeteria, our colleagues, or very good outlet she has in here. It's a restaurant actually. With our business, the Chop and Calf, I would say that Chop and Calf is one incredible place to be in. Their, their customer service is among the best that I've seen around here. Our business is a good place. We come to this plaza together and Chop and Calf is one of the best here. Joy is a very quiet place to have your time, where you want to spend your time. Chop and Calf... Um an eatery that is located in ABM Plaza is owned by Sally. Um, it's a wonderful place to be, a quiet place where you can have very lovely food, you sit with your friends, you have your drink. And about the calf, we are in the same uh, shopping complex and sometimes that's where I get my lunch from and I recommend 100%. Very clean, very tasteful. So it's a good restaurant to, to visit. Before the break there, you saw a cross-section of Chop and Calf customers testifying to the good services being delivered right here in Chop and Calf. Now tell us, Sally, what's your vision and mission statement? Well, I hope that everybody that comes here will love what we offer, what we do, appreciate the way we do our cooking, the way we, we attend to our customers and I advise people to eat healthy, like for example fruits are very good and, and some rice, moi moi and some snack, but always know the right time 
to eat then. Like anything after seven, one should not overeat or they would they would add weight and have indigestion while sleeping at night. So things about food should be put in a different category. Like some people ask why I don't add weight and I own the restaurant because I know how to place my time, when to eat, when to what to eat and how to eat them at the right time. So that is very very important and making sure that the food is prepared in a very clean environment, also fresh. I said fresh food is always good and this is what Chop and Cup is all about. Okay, what would be the parting word, your parting word that is given for your valued customers out there? Well, I hope that they keep coming and we'll keep improving in our menu. We'll keep giving people the best because we hope that people keep coming and appreciate what we do. Each day we we'll try something new. So I hope to see everybody and I appreciate those people that come and eat at the moment. Those are our special customers that have found us or either online or through media or, or just walk into the restaurant. We really appreciate them because they've been part of our life so far and have helped us to grow along the line. So we hope for a better future. Alright, I'm afraid we have to run along now on this episode of the program today. Sally, many thanks to you for being part of Business Play today. Thank you very much. Okay, you're watching Business Play, the corporate sales diaries. On this episode, we featured Chop and Cup, a very unique and adorable restaurant located in the heart of Abuja here in Nigeria. Certainly, you are looking forward to going and visiting. Of course, you'll be glad you did. Anyway, we have to bring down the curtain on this special episode of the program. It's been nice doing it together. Um, of course, we can do it together again next week. My name is Solomon. Bye for now. And since morning there was light, so. This one grow up, Anka. You know here say no make noise. Okay, so I have to call it that night. Huh? Uh, wow. He doesn't really have to make that noise. Just want to destroy. Even if it's a sound machine, it goes to the camera. The camera is very sensitive. It's very sharp. Welcome back. Um, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I don't have the line in my head. I need to look at my speech. Bad guy. <laughs> Welcome back. Just before the break, there you saw a cross section of chop and calf customers testifying, 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 testifying. Cut, cut. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, so, to jelly, jelly. Yes. <laughs> No, it's doing that like this one. Then it's. You're on the chain, you're on the chain. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you even look. How to add my time.